Hello, sisters and brothers. This is God's gift. Um, I woke up this morning and I just had this feeling that something was going to happen today. And I told my kids, you know, to be covered. I felt like something was going to happen. I didn't know quite what. It wasn't like I was, you know, uh, terrified <clears throat> or anything. I just knew something was about to happen. And my kids and I um, just got really attacked. And I was doing warfare against it and fighting and telling these things that this is my house and they can't, you know, be here. This is uh, God's house. And I sanctified it and I asked the Lord to, you know, anoint it and cover us in the blood. I did everything. And then I heard the Lord tell me, read Ezekiel 7. Wow. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus says the Lord, God unto the land of Israel an end the end is come upon the four corners of the land now is the end come upon thee and I will send my anger upon thee and I will judge thee according to thy ways and I will recompense upon all the thine abominations and my eyes shall not spare thee neither will I have pity but I will recompense the ways upon thee and thy abominations shall be in the midst of thee and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Uh, I believe the Lord is telling us we are here, sisters and brothers. Um, verse 5 says, Thus says the Lord God, An evil, an only evil, behold, is come. The end is come. The end is come. Oh, it waiteth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near, and not sounding again of the mountains. Now I will shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish mine anger upon thee. And I will judge according to thy ways, and I will recompense thee for thine abominations. And my eyes shall not have spare thee, neither will I have pity. I will not recompense thee according to thy ways and abominations that are midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord that smite. Um, I'm going to stop here. I'll let you guys read the rest of it. I ended up in verse 9. But what I wanted to say too. Is I got an understanding of a couple things. One of them was. When Jesus was talking uh, to the Pharisees. About they wanted to see a sign. And he said there will be no sign. Except for the sign of uh, Jonah. Um, I got the understanding that that is a dove. And the dove represents the Holy Spirit. And we know that the Holy Spirit is pouring out on us in a mighty way. Uh, even, you know, so many children are getting revelations and, and dreams and visions. And it's just unbelievable the amount of things that are happening right now. It's sad to see that most of these things are not being seen by, you know, Christians. A lot of Christians don't see this and they don't understand that we're in this time. But, um... Also, um, I had to stop the video. I had to think about what it was about. But, um, okay, so you know how uh, a president has four years of term? What I'm thinking is, um, out of that four years, if you cut, cut it, uh, three and a half out for the Antichrist, that would lead us into June since the president was elected. And not only that, but that is, you know, near the barley wheat time. Um, you know, it's, it's right where the barley ends and the wheat ends. Let me show you something. Okay, guys, so this is my fancy, uh, real expensive chart here. Don't laugh, okay? Okay, so we're right here. Uh, started, this started the um, Passover, okay, April 16th. And it takes 49 days for the barley to go into season which is june 3rd um is the last day of that and then you have the 112 days for the wheat harvest and this is uh the barley is the bride the barley is you know the first fruits what will be taken up and then you have the wheat harvest not only that but this is also the day of pentecost the fourth is the day of pentecost um, it's called the Feast of Weeks. And 
this is where we will have our days shortened. Uh, the elect will have their days shortened because instead of the um, seven years of tribulation, God said, "If it, you know, if it, will, I shorten the days. If it wasn't for the elect's sake." And I believe that's what he's talking about. And we'll see if this all comes to pass. But everything seems to be in order right now. There's too many things that uh, we're just seeing. Too many uh, amazing things that line up with God's perfect word. And this is a day of trumpets. The 22nd. The day before the revelation sign. We have the trumpets blowing. Uh, to me, that's amazing. That is just incredible that the trumpets are going to sound. And then, you know, the Revelation 12 sign. Um, we, I believe, I, don't quote me on this, but I believe um, that before the Revelation 12 sign, there will be war. There will be war. Um, you know, we're just here, sisters and brothers. We're here. We just know that we're in this season. Uh, we know that these days are from our Father God who appointed these days from the very beginning um, with his people. You know, right out of the exile. And it's just amazing how these days just mean so much right now. And... Uh, I just, you know, I pray that you're blessed, guys. We're here. We're very soon. Um, you know, I don't see us past September 23rd, but I don't even see us here. I really don't. I I feel like we're going to be here. This is my feeling. The third is the last day because we are the barley. I know whether the barley gets extended a couple days, I don't know. But um, also this time... <clears throat> June 5th through the 10th is when Israel became a nation in 1948. So, uh, you know, we might have a couple day leeway there. I don't know. I don't know, sisters and brothers. Uh, give me your give me your feedback on this. I love you all. I pray that you're blessed. I ask the Lord to just be with you and uh, protect you. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really funny because the day I was doing this, I believe uh, Gigi from Blue Haven was doing this. And. You know, it's really, it's really cool how, how things all work out. But uh, Lord bless you all. Keep you. We're in that time, sisters, brothers. Keep your eyes open. It's a commandment from the Lord to keep your eyes looking for him. Don't let your eyes be pulled away from anything in this world. I love you all. Be blessed. Uh, God, have mercy on those left behind. I pray, Father God, just be with be with our loved ones, Lord, who have not understood this all. I pray, Father, that you uh, be with the lost and keep them, Father, from the, the nets. Father, pull them out of the nets. <clears throat> um, bless you all. This is God's gift. Bye. I got to add one more thing. I got I got to check something out because I was always told May 14th, 1948, Israel became a nation. Um, there's something with the June 5th through the 10th. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, I don't want to give you the wrong information. Um, this is God's gift. I love you all, and I will check that out. Much love. Be blessed.